Okay, hello everyone. Uh, so in this video, we'll look at factor theorem. All right, so we previously looked at the remainder theorem and we saw that um, whenever you divide a polynomial, say P of X by X minus A to give you a quotient and a remainder R, that this means that P of X is equal to X minus A times q of x plus r the remainder All right so from here we can as well we are able to show that the remainder is simply equal to p of a okay and now here we want to see how that will also help us find if a particular divisor is a factor or not that's what factor theorem is all about. And now here is the statement. It says that let P of X be a polynomial. Then X minus A is a factor of that polynomial if and only if your P of A is zero. So you recall that in our normal division, if I have, for example, 15 divided by 3, I can only say that 3 is a factor of 15 because... 3 can divide 15 to give me a value without a remainder. That means the remainder is what? Zero. So whenever a number or a, 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 a polynomial divides another and gets a quotient without a remainder, that means the remainder is zero, then you say that that divisor is a factor. So that's exactly what we are implying here. That since our remainder from remainder theorem is equal to P of A, and so E, it means that uh, for x minus a to be a factor, then the remainder must be zero. And if the remainder must be zero, then p of a must be zero. Okay, so we are going to see some examples. Now look at here, we have shown that these two linear polynomials are factors of this. Okay, so I'm going to take one and then I will do the example two together. Okay, now, when we have this kind of question, what are we expected to do? To show that a linear factor or a linear polynomial is a factor is just to show that if you equate this to zero and make x a subject, that if you substitute the value you've gotten for x into this, that you should have your answer as zero. Okay, so we are giving for number one, the polynomial p of x is equal to 5x to the power 4. Okay, so and we want to divide by x minus 1. If I equate it to 0, it means that x is equal to 1. Okay, so and then if I substitute this into here, so p of 1 is going to be 5 into 1 raised to the power 4. And this is uh, 5. This is 4. This is 6 plus 4 plus 1. This will take away this. And then what happens here? 5 minus 6 is minus 1. And minus 1 plus 1 will give you 0. So since P of 1 is 0, then it means that X minus 1 is a factor of this particular polynomial. Okay, so I would want you to look at uh, this second one. Confirm that that is a factor of this. And then for example 2, we are going to have... We are given that uh, our f of x, which is a polynomial, is equal to 2x cubed. So and we want to divide by this. We want to show that this is a factor, meaning that it can divide it without a remainder. And so we will equate it to 0. And if we do that, our x will be minus 1. So substitute minus 1 into this. So that means our f of minus 1 is going to be 2 into minus 1 raised to the power 3. And then from here, what are we going to have? Um, you, when you have a minus 1 raised to the power of an odd number, it gives you an odd integer. It gives you minus 1. So minus 1 times 2 is minus 1. And then when it is raised to the power of an even number, it gives you positive. So uh, plus 1 times 3 is 3. This is 5 and then minus 6. And uh, what do we have? Minus 2 plus, one, uh, plus 3 is 1. 
1 plus 5 is 6, 6 minus 6 will give you 0. So you can see clearly that x plus 1 is actually a factor of this. Okay, so now there is another example here for us to see. Okay, so this is for what value of k is this polynomial divisible by this? Okay, so we are asking what value of k will you put here and here and then you will get a polynomial that will be divisible by this one. Okay, so let's quickly look at it and we are going to apply the factor theorem. And what does the factor theorem say? Our p of x is equal to x squared. And then we are dividing by x minus k. If you equate it to 0, you will get that x is equal to k. So for x minus k to be a factor, what it means is that if we substitute x as k into this polynomial, we should get 0. Okay, so that means our p of k should be equal to 0. And now what is our p of k? p of k is simply k squared. We are putting a k into x uh, as x here. Then minus k plus 2 times our x is k then plus 6 everything should be 0 and if that happens what it means is that k squared minus if you open this bracket uh, what will happen now is that k will come into this bracket to give us k squared k will come into this bracket again to give us 2k then plus 6 everything is 0 now it is now we'll open the bracket and if we do that we are going to obtain uh, k squared. This will give us minus k squared minus 2k plus 6 is equal to 0. And of course, you know what will happen here. Our This will take away this. And then we'll have minus 2k is equal to this coming to this side will become minus 6. And then we will divide both sides by minus 2 and this will give our k to be equal to positive 3 okay so the meaning is that if you put 3 here you are going to have uh, k squared minus 3 plus 2 is 5 that's 5x plus 6 and if you put k here as k as 3 here you have x minus 3 they're saying that x minus 3 is a factor of this and which is true all right so if you put x as 3 here you will get 0 so that's just uh, one of the applications of factor theorem and that's where we'll end this video we'll see you in our next video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like share and comment on our videos right bye